What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nathan my skills and today we are going to be taking a look at how I unlocked woods. If you guys haven't seen my video on how to unlock woods, now there is one correction to that video that a lot of people don't tend to read. It's in the description and it's also a pinned comment that instead of destroying the helicopter you need to fly in the helicopter for 30 seconds. So in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I unlocked them and some tips and tricks and we'll do a game breakdown of my full unlock of this in this video. So the first thing you guys need to do is mark where the campsite is. It's just south of Estates and it's just east of the construction site. So it's a little green path. If you zoom in enough, you'll see some little blue icons and that's where you want to mark it. But this is exactly where you want to mark where you want to drop in right here. Just south of Estates and just east of construction. So once you get out of the waiting area, you already have it marked and you know what you need to do. So my flight path was actually the flight path you wish you can get every time if you're trying to get this. You want to jump out right away. So we're going to skydive all the way down. I was going to around 69, 70 and then I pull up a little bit and I can see the blue tarps and that's where I'm going to want to drop in right here. I can already see the helicopter, right? So when you see the helicopter that's a good sign that means that the bandana has a chance of spawning and it's going to be at these crates right in front of it what you want to do is just grab that bandana and get on the helicopter as fast as possible and hopefully they don't shoot you out of the helicopter when you grab it as soon as you get it and i would take off and go as far as possible as you can away from your flight path so if you know your flight path was on the one side of the map head to the opposite side of the map and stay as low as possible because a lot of times People get those RPGs and you just want to keep heading as far as possible. So I know the farthest possible way where I don't think anybody would have went is turbine because our flight path was near construction site. So I'm going to take this plane to the opposite side of the map and that way I can get not only the time I need to be in the air, I needed 30 seconds in the air and then I also need to win the match. So I need to make sure I have some really good guns. So since there's probably not anybody looting over here. I'm going to drop at these buildings right here. One mistake that I did do is I didn't check the bandana to see if I had got the check mark for flying it for 30 seconds. Now it doesn't say 30 seconds on the bandana but you're going to see in just a second when I pause it that I don't have a check mark and that is something that I failed to do. I forgot to inspect the bandana when I was flying so now I have to get back in the chopper and fly for a little bit longer so I get that green check mark. But before I do that, I want to take advantage since I'm already landed and I'm away from everything. Let me get some really good guns. So I definitely want to get a good close range weapon and I want to get something that's a mid to long range weapon. If I can get a sniper rifle, that's good. If I can get an ABR, that might be a little bit better for me because I can put a silencer on there. I can stay a little bit more stealthy. And you know, when you are using a sniper rifle, it's louder. So yes, you can drop people with one shot. but people know where you're sniping from versus if you're using a gun that has a silencer on it you don't really have to worry about that so I went into the main building I was able to find the ABR so I'm gonna drop the rampart I'm gonna pick up the ABR so that's gonna be my medium to long range weapon also another tip if you do find a crate like this in front of me a lot of times these guns have fully modded guns and what you wanna do is take the gun out of there drop all the attachments and then put it on the weapon you want so since I wanna keep this ABR I'm gonna put an attachment, a four time scope, grab the grip, the extended barrel, all those good stuff I'm going to take and then I'm going to put everything I really want on the ABR because that's going to be my primary weapon to stay alive. And right now I actually feel really good about my chances of winning because I have one of my favorite weapons, the ABR. I have a close range weapon with the Vapor. I'm actually really comfortable with these two weapons. The only thing I would love to find is a silencer. If I could find a silencer for this ABR, I would say my chances of winning are gonna go up from 70% to about 80% just because I'm that comfortable with an ABR with a silencer on it. So I do have level three armor, I have an ABR and I have a vapor. Now I really just want a silencer. But what we're gonna do right now is head back to the chopper and get the remaining time we actually need left for this flight time. I know it has to be super short. Somebody locks onto me as soon as I get in the chopper so I was only able to fly a little bit. But I was actually lucky enough that that was enough time for me to get the check mark. We're going to check right now in just a second and you're going to see that I have the green check mark on the bandana. So I have a check mark where it says you see that hind that's 30 seconds of flight time in the helicopter and then now it says you can't kill me that means we have to win the match. So there are only 46 people left and we just have to play it safe right. I told you guys I have level 3 armor, I have an ABR, I have a vapor and I would like to get 
a silencer. If I can get a silencer, that's the only thing that would set me up for success for winning this match. And we're just going to continue on with this gameplay, and I'm just going to show you the steps that I took to kind of ensure myself and give myself a better chance of winning. So what I would recommend for anybody trying to get woods is play a little bit more safe than you would if you were just playing to win. I'm a really aggressive player, but I know that for certain character unlocks, I need to play a little bit more safe because a lot of times I take a lot of risk because I'd rather get those high kill games than guarantee those wins. Now, if you look here, I'm right on the edge of the circle, and since I know I'm on the edge of the circle, I'm going to take my time, loot the area, just make sure there's no players coming, and look for more heals. Hopefully, they can get that silencer and just keep looting every single building. As the circle starts to close in and the timer starts to get less, I'll push in little by little. But I'm always going to try to hug the outside of the circle. The circle is closing in on us. I'm going to keep looting a little bit. I finally found a silencer for my ABR and that's perfect. That is actually what I really want because that way I can hit those medium to long range shots and people won't know where the bullets are going. And if I can land my shots, I can drop the player before he even has a chance. So the circle's closing in and like I told you, I'm going to take my time, I'm going to push in little by little, keep looting the area, looting as many heals as I can, and if I can get a perk like Dead Silence, which will help me in the final circle where I can pop it, run around, people won't hear where I'm coming from, that might be beneficial too. But if you don't get them, don't worry about it. So this is actually one thing I wouldn't recommend you guys doing. Um, I end up grabbing a truck here, and the reason why I tell you guys not to do this is because ATVs, trucks, helicopters, they all make noise, and if somebody has a rocket launcher, they lock onto you. That's an easy kill. If you guys watch my last RPGs Gone Wild, same thing. Look at that, someone locked onto me. I had to jump off and now I'm looking for him. I have no idea where this guy is at. And this is where I could be at a disadvantage. So I popped this dead silence when I don't even really wanna pop it, but I had to waste it. There's a guy right there. So that's the guy right there, he's on his ATV. I'm gonna try to get a couple shots on him. Stay around this. He's, it looks like he's trying to run me over. Now I'm just going to run behind him and I'm going to head to these buildings. I'm going to stop wasting my time because there's 34 seconds. He's making a lot of noise. I can get sniped because I'm on foot. I just want to hit these buildings and then keep moving. Don't worry about them. So that's something I would tell you guys not to do. Don't get in vehicles to get from point A to point B. So we're pushing to the final circle and we haven't even had to kill one person. If you look, we have zero kills. There's 16 people left. So that's 15 other people I have to kill or people have to kill. And look how small the circle is. And it's closing in. And I made some really good moves. I stayed on the outside and I let a lot of people die. So now I have a better chance of winning, right? People are still dropping. Now we only have 14 other players and then 15 including myself. And I'm just going to hug this circle right here. And I know it's about to go down. Like I know there's going to be players around here. I know I'm going to have to start getting kills. So I just got to be careful, look around, just keep looking. I'm going to see a guy right in front of me. This is what I was telling you guys about the ABR. I had a silencer on it. I can drop somebody before they even see me. Now look, I just saw another player right there. His gun is poking through the window and I have a grenade. I'm going to take advantage of the grenade. I'm going to throw it right on that window right there. It's going to blow up. He took a lot of damage from that initial grenade. He died and you can see same thing. Be tactical. You, you might only get like five kills. Might get four kills, but as long as you guys get the win, you guys get the unlock. So there's only nine more guys left. That's eight guys plus me, and I get the win, right? So we're gonna grab his trauma kits. I highly recommend if you can get somebody who has trauma kits, that's great for end game. And then of course, if you could drop the first aid for med kits, that's even better. Keep a low profile, guys. Stay low to the ground. If you start to hear people like you can hear, there's a guy running right in front of me. That's when you get up, you make your move, right? There's a guy right in front of me. Another thing, use your silenced weapon. I could have used my vapor because I was closer, but my ABR has a silencer, so I don't want people to know. Use that. If you have sensor darts, use that. Put it on a building behind you. That way you can always have eyes behind you. You're going to see on my sensor darts, someone pops up, so I know there's someone behind me. I'm already looking behind me anyway, waiting for this guy to peek out. I have my ABR. There's two guys now. Look at the sensor dart up top. Great placement. Try to finish these guys off. And one guy's gonna start pushing me because he knows I'm fighting somebody else. So that's what you get. Just use your sensor dart to your advantage. Start dropping them. We're at four kills, only six guys left. There's another guy over here. He's in that other building, so I'm just gonna keep an eye on that building. I'm gonna see if I can get some shots on him. Now I'm gonna start getting shot from my left. 
so I still have level 3 armor but it's almost done so I'm gonna use my trauma kit perfect time for me to use them at 200 health and now there's another guy right in front of me so I gotta be careful so I finished that guy off now we're at five people right we have to remember I was getting shot from directly in front of me now the direction I was at I don't know where he was at he was shooting me he did shoot my armor but I'm gonna try to stay as close as I can to this circle I have a good cover right in front of me this rock now I know there are people dying right so we're down to four people so there's three other guys this rock right here is actually a really good spot for me to be at look how the circle I got a really good roll on the circle the circle is gonna be right on top of me so I can use this rock to my advantage the storm is behind me and I have this rock in front of me I can pretty much camp out here just be careful with grenades but as long as they don't know I'm here let them kill each other let them kill each other get down to maybe three guys maybe get down to two guys and then when I'm the final guy then that's when I'll make my move I'll use my aggressive gameplay to win the match but stay calm at this situation right here don't stick out too much let guys kill each other so we're down to three guys so there's only two other guys left and this is where I'm telling you guys a silenced weapon like an ABR that has some distance is going to make a difference because I can hit people from range look there's a player right in front of me I'm gonna get some shots on him pretty much destroy all of his armor right so he might have been at full max armor but I gave him a lot of shots and he still didn't know where I was shooting from and I'm behind this rock so he has to make his move to me because that circle is going to close in on him. And there's still another player that can kill him before he even gets to me. So we're playing the waiting game right now. And he just gets killed. So now it's me and another player. I see where he's coming from. I'm going to make a move because I want to be on the aggressive at this point. Now I know it's a 1v1. And I want to take my advantage of my gun game, of my player skill. He just got a supply crate. So that means that he's probably going to have armor now, right? So I have to use the little bit of armor I have left and these trauma kits. I know I have an advantage because I saw him. He didn't see where I was at. So I just have to be careful. He pushes to the left. I saw him before he saw me and I got some shots on him. So whoever gets the first shot usually has advantage. Now he's playing on the defensive. I'm playing the offensive. I just need to keep the fire on him, right? I got to keep hitting him because if I stop shooting at him, the chances of him recovering are good, right? So I broke his armor, I gotta keep looking, try not to heal up as much, I'm at 200 health, I still have my full armor, don't give him a chance, so like he's probably at full health right here, as soon as I get some shots, just keep pressing on him, as soon as he peeks, keep shooting, and since I have a 4 times scope, and I have a gun like the ABR that's mid to long range, I have an advantage right here, I'm really just waiting for my shot, as soon as I hit him, I'm gonna push him, so I know he's hurt, he has no armor, he's healing up right now, so I made my move. I pushed up a little bit there he goes he pops up I hit him again so that means he's gonna try to heal again and I already have the advantage I hit him way too many times for him to try to have a gun battle with me and that's how I won that's how I unlocked woods just like that I hope this helped you guys out I know woods is probably one of those characters that is gonna be a headache for most of you but hopefully these tips of taking a little bit slower than you usually would helps you out I only finished with six kills, but those six kills all came at the end and I made them worth it, right? I got six kills to win the match. Now, once you do win the match, you'll get the notification right after the merit report. You click continue and it's gonna say, character unlocked, Woods, you know me, I don't like anyone. And then after that, you just need to go select him. And that is how I unlocked Woods. If you guys wanna just see the quick how to unlock Woods, head over to my other video it's in the description box but remember you need to fly for 30 seconds you need to collect his bandana first and then you need to win the match those are the big three things you need to do and that's how you unlock them so the hardest part is really going to be winning the match once you grab the bandana the chances of you getting on a helicopter are high because you're probably the first one there but winning the match is probably where you fell a couple times i think i came in second three times before I finally won the match. Don't forget, if you guys found this video useful, hit the thumbs up. If you guys are new to my channel, first time watching the video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell so when I release a video, you guys get notified. And if you have any questions on unlocking any of the characters, check out my Blackout 4 Blackout playlist, and that's where you guys can find those answers. Thank you guys again, and remember, if you don't see me blackout, it's only a matter of time, nothing but skills out.